to our respected manager, Sister Christine, our principal, Sister Nina, our supervisor, Sister Prasanna, teachers, parents, and all my dear friends. I, Shoya Mankar, on behalf of our class, Third B, extend a warm welcome to one and all. Today, we have gathered here on this virtual platform to celebrate the most awaited festival that is the Festival of Life, the Bali. We shall begin our prayer service with our prayer dance. Of the five days of Diwali. 
originates from two Sanskrit words, dhan, that is wealth, and tears, that is 13th day of Krishna Paksha, Hindu lunar calendar, month of Kartik, also called as Dhanra Yodashi. Hindus worship Lord Kubera and Goddess Lakshmi. The Goddess dwell on this day. Also on Dhan Terras is Dhanvantari. Pujan slept as Dhanvantari. The God of Medicine considered Lord Vishnu Avtar. He has four arms which is whole, conch, sudarshan chakra, the nectar of eternity and medicine, respectively. Narak Chaturadashi On this day, Lord Krishna, his wife, Satyabhama and Goddess Kali fought the demon named Narakasur and defeated him. Narak Chaturadashi, the 14th day of Krishna Paksha of Kartik month is celebrated by waking up early in the morning and bathing with ritualistic scrubs called Uptan. This day is also called as Chuti Diwali. People celebrated this day to get rid themselves of evil, negativities and laziness. It signifies riddance from everything negative and things that stop us from walking the right path. Lakshmi Puja Lakshmi Puja, the third day of Diwali, is also called the main Diwali. Lakshmi Puja, the worship of Goddess Lakshmi, the Goddess of Wealth, falls on Amavasya of Krishna Paksha of the Hindu lunar calendar month of Kartik. This was also the day Lord Ram returned to Ayodhya after defeating Ramna. The citizens of Ayodhya welcomed their presence by lighting up the houses and streets with earthen lamp filled with oil. Lord Ganesha is worshipped at the beginning of every auspicious act as Vigneshwara and is a place of prime importance on Lakshmi Puja day. Govardhan Puja, also known as Anakut, meaning a mountain of food, is a Hindu festival in which devotees worship Govardhan Hill and prepare and offer a large variety of vegetarian food to Krishna as a mark of gratitude. It is celebrated in honor of the feat that Lord Krishna carried out near Mathura once when Lord Indra decided to punish the people of Mathura for not appeasing him. He rained the clouds on them to the point of drowning. So Lord Krishna lifted over the mountain to hold it over the heads of the people and cattle assembled underneath it. Since then, Govardhan has become a venerated object. And on Govardhan Puja, day of Diwali, miniature clay and cow dung figures are made to depict the event. Bhaiduj, the fifth day of Diwali is Bhaiduj. It is celebrated to cherish this sibling bond. On this day, siblings get together to do the Dekka ceremony. Bhai means brother and Duj means the second day of the Shukla Paksha of the lunar calendar. Diwali marks the beginning of winter and start of a new sewing season. On this auspicious day, houses, shops and other buildings are decorated with lights, candles, diyas, rangolis, etc. Everywhere we can see illuminations. People meet with their relatives and friends, exchange sweets and gifts. Lord Ganesha and God and Lakshmi are worshipped on the Diwali night 
for wealth, health and prosperity. It is the festival with full of positivity. People await all year long and perform all the rituals associated with Diwali. of St. John chapter 8 verse 12 and St. Luke chapter 11 verses 34 to 36. Jesus spoke to the Pharisees again. I am the light of the world. He said, whoever follows me will have the light of life and will never walk in darkness. Your eyes are like a lamp for the body is full of light. But when your eyes are no good, your whole body will be in darkness. Make certain then that the light in you is not darkness. If your whole body is full of light with no part of it in darkness, it will be bright all over as when a lamp shines on you with its brightness. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Reflection Through Christ all things are illuminated. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. To refuse to follow him is to continue to walk in some kind of darkness. He asks us to walk in him that gives us life. The light shows us how to die to ourselves that we might live true life abundantly in Him forever. And when the eyesight is clear, the whole body reaps the advantage of it and is perfectly illuminated by it. So when the eye of the understanding is open and enlightened by the Spirit of God into the truths of the Gospel, The whole soul is filled with light, joy and comfort. Dear God, this is the valley. May your light shine in our minds and in our hearts and in the hearts of many people. That we stand out as your children leading a just life. May we become a channel of your blessings to many lives. May your love, joy and peace be spread out all across the world. Amen. Your response, Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, at this time of pandemic, we place into your care all the people of the world, the sick, the poor, the needy. Father, you are the mighty healer. God watch over us and give us the courage to overcome our difficulties. Strengthen our mind and soul as we look up to you in a hope for a better tomorrow. Amen. Your response, Lord, you are our prayer. God with you, there is no darkness. Your character has no shadows and you are pure and good. Yet, in our broken world, we see so much darkness around us. Pain, sickness and disease are in our community and in many of our homes. Bring your light and restoring presence to the dark places in our lives. May your light of hope shine in the darkness for the people. Amen. Your
your response. God hear our prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come into your presence, seeking your blessings on each one of us. From the time in our mother's womb till today, you have loved and protected us. You have kept us safe and sound, and we believe you continue to protect us from all the dangers of the world under your mighty wings. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. Grant us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to grow in you. Amen. Your response, Lord, hear our prayer. Let's celebrate clean, green and save Diwali. Diwali is the festival of lights. Beauty of the festival. Cleaning and decorating the house. Lighting of lamps. Illuminate your house with lights that expels darkness and removes negativity. Light brightens your life with all its brightness. Rangoli making. This involves the creativity in art of making a rangoli and with all enthusiasm one decorates the house with rangolis. It represents the happiness, positivity and liveliness of a household. Exchanging of gifts and sweets and sharing of love. Do's and don'ts. In this pandemic, stay safe at home and celebrate the festival by making video calling to friends, families and relatives and involve them in the celebration, thus reducing feelings of isolation. Do not burst firecrackers. Let's go green by growing plants that helps in controlling air pollution. Have a happy and safe Diwali. Festivals are the time to celebrate togetherness with oodles of happiness. However, we need to remember enjoyment and health go hand in hand. At the time of pandemic, Meet your loved one through a virtual media. However, if you are meeting someone, fold your hands into a namaste or greet without any physical contact. Also be alert to avoid unwanted incidents. Don't use sanitizers near fire or before lighting up the diyas or candles. Abide by the norms of social distancing. Make it an eco-friendly Diwali by not bursting crackers. Have a safe and happy Diwali. भाग हम सवारे धन की देवी रोटे ना कभी डोर सुख चैन की टूटे ना कभी सबको यही दिवाली चारे पास बढ़ के खुशी 
छाईवे रोशनी दे रंग लगे दिवाली आई वे respected sisters teachers parents and my dear students i would like to congratulate sneha miss and the students of class 3b for preparing such a meaningful prayer service on the festival of diwali it was really very meaningful and was well prepared they deserve a clap from all of us well done sneha miss and dear students and thank you dear parents for giving practice to the children dear teachers parents and students all of us are very excited about the celebration of diwali with new dresses gifts diwali farar and etc with these external things let us not dilute the importance of diwali Lighting of diya in Diwali symbolizes the victory of light over darkness. It also indicates victory of good over evil and of knowledge over ignorance. As we light diya in our own homes, let us pray that the light, the good and the knowledge reign in our family in our society and in our country at large diwali is a symbol of hope we hope for corona free country corona free life for all of us may brotherhood and sisterhood grow in our country may it bring compassion in the joy peace love and the awareness of unity to all wishing you all my dear teachers students and parents a very happy diwali may god bless us all thank you